Hey guys, uh, AutoXX here again today, and I uh, figured I'd let you know what I was up to. I know a lot of you guys have been saying I haven't been putting any videos out, I haven't been uh, uh, showing any of the projects that I'm up to. Sorry, this isn't a gasifier test, but this does tie into it. We're actually going to use the gasifier to start producing electricity at a remote cabin to charge batteries for lights and such. So, uh, my swamper here is going to heat up. What we've got here is a sixteenth piece of aluminum and a uh, tech unit, a thermoelectric cooler. You can buy the thermoelectric generators, but they work basically the same way as the semiconductor principles. Uh, these are tech ones, 12706s, and uh, they're pretty cheap. I found they were the cheapest ones. You can get the uh, TEGs, the thermoelectric generators. They're more expensive, but uh, I found they were actually less efficient. They produced less, uh, less current. So, we'll heat this side up, we'll keep this one cool, we're not going to overdrive it, because if you melt the solder in these, they're toast, they'll never work again. So, go ahead and heat that up. I'm going to keep my thumb on it, just to uh, make sure we don't get too hot. You can see our voltage, we're up at 1.5 volts, 1 1.7, 1.2, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5, okay. So, we got to about 100, 120 degrees there. They can handle that pretty good. They could probably get up to about 300, but I wouldn't push them to that. So we got up to uh, about 2 volts there. Now I'll we'll switch over and uh, check the current. I've just got a car light bulb here as load. And uh, I'm going to do that. And that should be good. Uh, it's not. Okay, I've got something wrong here. You don't have load then. I don't have connection, I don't think. Ah, that's why. Okay. Yeah. So we're drawing half an amp. Oop. So basically 0.6. Uh, we did this test before, we got to 0.7. Part of it is the heat sink is getting a little warmer at this point. But uh, uh, I also think there was something screwy with the system. We were at 0.7 before. So our first test, we got uh, 0.7 amps, 2.5 volts. Just for the sake of argument, we'll call it 2 because we're not going to drive the uh, 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 coolers as hard. And uh, so 2 volts times 20 units is 40 volts because we're going to have uh, 20 generators hooked in series. So we're going to produce 40 volts at uh, 0.7 amps, that's 28 watts. Uh, 28 watts divided by 14.7 volts because this is these are AGM batteries. Uh, that's 1.9 amps at charging voltage per unit. There will be two units. So we're getting pretty good current. It's going to be about 2.8 uh, 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 3.8 uh, amps just with the stove running so you can do this at night after the after the solar panels aren't going to work anymore and let's face it 3 amps say an average of 3 amps charging for this we're also going to add another unit so 4.5 to 5 volts of uh, or 4.5 to 5 amps of charging current is uh, not bad off a wood stove and burning pellets with the gasifier very very efficient so once we get it wrapped up we'll take another video and uh, fill you guys in I hope you found this video interesting if you did I'd appreciate a thumbs up and if you feel like seeing more go ahead and subscribe hope to see you again bye now